low offer? Steelers could lose Brandon Ayuk due to surprising detail. Hey, Steeler Nation! Today we're going to talk about a behind-the-scenes move that could define the Steelers' future next season. If you think you know everything about the transfer market, get ready, because what I'm about to reveal might surprise you. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any updates. The NFL offseason always brings those twists and turns that no one expects, and this time is no different. With the Steelers looking for reinforcements to strengthen the offense, Brandon Ayuk's name has emerged as a possible big acquisition. But, by all indications, the negotiation is not going to be easy. The numbers circulating behind the scenes are generating a lot of discussion, and what seemed like a surefire signing could be getting complicated. But why is this happening? And how does this affect the team's future? That's what we're going to uncover now. Brandon Ayuk, the San Francisco 49ers star, has been one of the most coveted players on the transfer market. With his impressive performance in recent seasons, it is no surprise that teams such as the New England Patriots and Cleveland Browns are also eyeing him. However, the competition for the player intensified when the Steelers entered the race. Pittsburgh, known for its tradition and ambition, saw in Ayuk the missing piece to transform the offense into a true scoring machine. Despite the Steelers' interest, negotiations have not been so simple. According to NFL sources, while the Patriots are willing to offer more than $30 million per season, the amount that the Steelers put on the table is considerably lower than that. Pittsburgh's initial offer seems to have been close to $28 million per year, which apparently did not please the player and his team. What initially seemed like a smooth negotiation is now becoming a real soap opera. And it doesn't stop there. Sports Illustrated's Albert Breer revealed that, in addition to the Steelers, other teams such as the Browns have also made similar offers, but none of them have been willing to match the Patriots' proposal. This has created a stalemate. Ayuk is looking for a contract that not only reflects his talent on the field, but also places him among the highest paid players in the league. And, so far, it seems that only New England is willing to make that investment. In light of this scenario, Ayuk and the 49ers have returned to the negotiating table. In recent days, there have been a series of talks to try to reach an agreement that is beneficial to both sides. NFL media reported that the two parties have already reached a consensus on the first three years of the contract, but there is still a crucial detail to be resolved regarding the last non-guaranteed year. This point could be what will define whether Ayuk remains in San Francisco or decides to explore other options. Now, you might be wondering, where do the Steelers fit into this story? Well, Pittsburgh's offer, while significant, wasn't enough to lure Ayuk away from the 49ers. If the Steelers truly want to count on Ayuk's talent, they'll have to raise their offer. But is the front office willing to break the bank to do so? The question is complicated. While Ayuk would be a valuable addition, on the other hand, the financial impact could compromise other areas of the team. For the Steelers, the decision isn't easy. The offensive line, the wide receiver core, and even the defense need investment. So, is it worth betting everything on one player? Pittsburgh's strategy has always been to balance the team in all areas, and this trade could put that philosophy to the test. What fans are hoping now is that the front office makes the right decision to keep the team competitive next season. And here's the crux of all this discussion. Ayuk may have no choice but to return to the 49ers. That's right, if the Steelers don't offer much more than the $28 million a year that's on the table, Ayuk will likely stay in San Francisco. The player is under contract with the 49ers through 2024, which means that unless Pittsburgh changes its stance, the long-awaited move may simply not happen. And what does this mean for the Steelers? Perhaps the chance to secure a major reinforcement has slipped through their fingers. So, Steel Nation, what do you think of this situation? Do you think the Steelers should increase their offer for Ayuk, or is it better to invest in other positions? Leave your opinion in the comments. I want to know what you would do if you were in the board's shoes. And don't forget to like the video and share it with other fans. Let's all hope the Steelers make the right decision together. That's it for today, folks. 
Let's continue to follow this Brandon Ayuk saga closely and see how it unfolds. Stay tuned to the channel for more updates on the Steelers and all the NFL moves. Until next time and, as always, Go Steelers!